रेस्पेक्टफुल प्रणाम्स टू ऑल द आत्मज्योतिस लाइट ऑफ इनर सेल्फ वी नो दैट ऑल द ह्यूमन बींग्स हैव वन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द अदर देर इज नो बडी हु इज फ्री फ्रॉम प्रॉब्लम्स बट डिड यू नो दैट डू यू नो दैट द गॉड हिमसेल्फ हैज बिग प्रॉब्लम Let me tell you a story. After a long, long rest, God woke up, and He decided He would do a creation. He would create a universe. Lo, there was a creation, beautiful universe, consisting of. billions and billions of stars planets galaxies the sky the air the water the sun the sea the forest the fish amphibians reptiles tortoise animals various kinds of animals cow tiger cheetah where is kinds of birds what a beautiful creation god is not happy something is missing wow there is somebody required to appreciate this creation to praise the beautiful creation what is the fun Lord, sitting, Lord alone, sitting and watching this whole creation. So he had, a, Lord had a brain wave. He decided, let me create a human being, an exact, exact replica of Lord. A human being was born. The human being opened the eyes. so a beautiful creation in such appreciating the creation the human being started complaining this is missing that is missing you didn't give me that you didn't give me that the lord tried to fulfill all the desires but the list of the human being never became short it kept on growing at those days human being had a direct connection with the lord so every day he used to go with a big complaint big list the lord was fed up oh my god he wanted to find a hiding place to escape from this human being he went deep inside the sea and hid himself human being he was very smart very intelligent he created something stood in front of the god again my lord so many things are missing in your creation that was a big trouble for the god the god went and hid in moon human being didn't leave him there also he made a rocket landed on the moon the trouble lord was troubled where to escape from this being who is always complaining who is always complaining who never appreciates my creation suddenly or had a brain wave a wonderful idea he found a place where human being cannot find him where no one can find him you know that place that place is the heart of the human being 
Lord hid himself in the heart of human being. A very difficult place to find. Human beings' eyes are always directed outwards, never inwards. From that day onwards, human being has been searching for the Lord, searching for the God, who is missing from the heaven. Human being has searched in all the places, sometimes in temples, mosques, churches, forests, monasteries, on top of Himalayas, in holy places, nowhere the God is to be found. The only place the Lord can be found is in the heart of human being. And that is the last place where human being will search for the Lord. The God in the form of peace, love, compassion resides in the heart, heart of every living being. If only we look inwards, we can find Him. We can find the Lord within. The journey of going inwards is called spiritual journey. The discovery of the self, Atma Darshan, the search for a God in our own selves. When we find God, how? How to recognize Him? How to recognize God? Peace, love, compassion, silence, and wisdom. This is the place where you can find God. That is the kingdom of God in us. One who enters that kingdom finds the eternal bliss. He becomes a fountain of love. He becomes a fountain of compassion. He becomes a source of wisdom. He becomes the light, the light of the self, Atma Jyoti. Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mratyorma Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Hee